Hello from the Orkneys, and um, I don't even know the name of this island, but we're on an island. We had to walk across at low tide to be able to get to get over here. It's normally cut off by water, and you can see a kind of cliffs of moor in the background over there. So inspiring. We're in a like a. 2,000 year old settlement here or what used to be a Viking settlement and, and I'm having this flashback to um, well to several things one would be one of my very favorite movies in the recent canon of movies Jojo Rabbit um, absolutely loved that film and it gives me the chills every time I see it and the end comes on and that Rumi quote I mean not Rumi that Rilke quote comes up about feel everything, like nothing is the, my paraphrase is that nothing is the end of anything and everything is the beginning of something. So feel it all, feel it all because no feeling is permanent. And so that is what's um, rocking my world right now in this very beautiful wind swept inspiring place. As I'm in something really old and I'm dealing with emotions that I know are really old. They're not unique to me, you know? This feeling of um, wondering if your dream's ever gonna come true, wondering if you have what it takes to make it come true, and when things don't work out, the fear and the sadness that it's just never gonna come together. And, and I'm on the other side of it. Not that the grief isn't still in my heart, but I'm on the other side of it because I'm in that space in the real key poem. I'm in that space of nothing is permanent, you know? So that includes life, that includes joy, that includes sadness, that includes despair, that includes um, the great wondering, you know, the, the, the times of anxiety when you're just not sure what could happen to you and will happen to you in your dream. So I'm, I'm encouraging you in this moment. I'm encouraging myself in this moment because I've been gifted the opportunity to just be in this place, this old, old, old place, this beautiful, inspiring place, and to consider my own impermanence and also the impermanence of my feelings and my experiences and my circumstances. You know, I've been paralyzed on an operating table from the neck down. I'm not on an operating table right now, and I'm not paralyzed anymore or quadrupalized, whatever they call it when you can't move anything also been in my been a time in my life where I felt so in love and so uncompanioned and I have companions now I might have my soulmate and there may come a time when I don't have either but none of it's permanent what we have that is permanent is this soul infuses beauty and life around us and and right now this minute in, in this old Viking establishment I can just I will pan the camera so you can see we're still touched by these people's souls thousands of years later. Because look, they made beauty. And the earth made beauty. And we are beauty. And so we might as well just feel it all and experience it all and let go of outcome and of have to and enjoy the ride for what it is. Nothing is, nothing is permanently against you. Nothing is permanently for you. Everything exists as a means of the creativity that you get to use in any given moment. So I'm using this moment to create some wonder and some hope and a space for potential in myself. And I hope it finds you, this message, I hope it finds you in a space willing to do the same in whatever way you can, in your own backyard, in the eyes of your dog or your cat, or a moment with your child, or your paints, or your journaling, or your writing, wherever you can create a little pocket of wonder. My wonder heart reaches to your wonder heart right now and gives you this, um, this moment of impermanence to encourage you to feel it all because none of it will last. And yet, the love 